What up, Wastelanders? It's Squirrel Bits here, and this is the beginning of the Pit DLC Fallout 3. And we're getting ready to take off. Jump on the car. I'm right behind Werner. So, just select here. You leave the pit. Say goodbye. Goodbye, tunes. But uh, this uh, DLC is actually pretty short. There's not much to it. And I already did record going through the steel yard, picking up all 100 ingots for you. So um, if you watch these, this one would be the first one, and then there's another part. But if you watch those in order, you'll be able to pick them all up. So here we Yo, go. Someone's coming. Let me do the talking. And he'll just take you along through here. But this part's actually pretty funny because he does the same animations every time you do this. And he just continues firing after people die. And some good shit. So it's pretty cool looking out here. We are in Pittsburgh. The pit. I might ask you the same thing. You got a lot of guts coming back to this place, Warner. Yeah. Well, I guess that's the difference between us. I have a lot this of guts. This is pretty funny right here. You don't. <laughs> Shoes are out. Here come more of them. Watch out. I'd say she's dead, man. You I heard something. He's getting he's going to town on them, so you could continue walking up here and he'll continue taking his sweet ass time with firing at all the dead people still. gonna take his sweet ass time walking really slow up here. We've got to keep moving. Come on. This is as far as I can go. <laughs> if you dress up like a slave, you should be able to get past the gates without a problem. Once you're inside, find a slave named Medea. She'll be able to help you. Remember, your goal is to get access to Asher and find the cure. After you have it, I'll contact you. All right. That's it. Good luck. We're counting on you. So, just put on our slaver outfit that we got. Remove my helmet. Although, they could see my large gun. But, whatever. Yeah, and I love it when you break and hear that opening sun that just comes out on you. Like, it's actually really gorgeous in a nice, creepy, fallout kind of way. So we're coming up to the bridge to cross. Nice, epic view here, the sign in it. But I usually stay along the left up here. I found there's not as many mines, and we're going up to that point. There's going to be a couple dudes running out at us when we reach there, but be very careful as you walk along this, because there are mines everywhere. And if you look around, you can see them all over the place. So just be careful. Some dogs over there. I'm gonna get turned into dog meat here soon. Damn it. And I usually just like to hop along the colors you can stay on it. And just keep along the side over here. Bear trap. There's a chick firing at you from around here too. Sometimes you can just avoid shooting her, but eh, she'll usually just fire at you anyway, so just prepare to look above you and kill her. There we go. 
care of that. Her bloody bits are all over me. And here comes the part. There's two slavers running up from you. Jeez. So you can see them. And the guy actually might make it, but not really. He's probably kind of run right over those landmines and die. But that's not our problem. We're heading over here. Yeah, I'm crippled. So I'm going to just go ahead and take some health right now and. Uh, you can just get ready to take all of your gear and stuff from I mean, you get it back, but it's nice to just go in there with full health. Come on. This guy's a douchebag. <laughs> I love it. Another slave wanted back here, yeah? huh? What's wrong? Yeah, yeah. You couldn't get over the bridge? You're lucky I don't fucking paste you. Why I should... Wait. What the... Now would you look at this? Where'd you get all this That's shit my anyway? fucking shit, dude. Whatever. Mine now. Thanks, Scab. I hit the jackpot today. Now get back in there and get to work. Or next time I'll just stake you out okay. there for the drugs. But anyway, this guy's a little asshole, so... But the goodness of it is, uh... You actually can come and kill him at the very end of it. Which I'm going to do. So we are coming in here now. We need to find Medea and speak with her. Looks pretty crazy in here. Sometimes it gets a little uh, confusing when you walk around in here. Just because it looks like the same turn like a little bit, but whatever. Here's me. Going on here. Okay. Thankfully, we're not going to be working too long in the steel yard and doing all this crap out here. <laughs> Where here sent she you, is. Good. He finally found someone. We can't talk out in the open like this. Meet me in my house as soon as you can. We'll talk there. She also likes to take her sweet ass time walking. Mine? And now that I went in, she's probably not gonna come in because they're cool like that. Maybe? No. Damn it. I <laughs> always hate that. But I guess I'll just go back outside. And then she'll walk right in, and then blah blah blah. now, but we shouldn't take too long. They saw you come in here, so they'll come looking for you if you take too long. I 
I don't know what you saw on the way in, but the guards don't really take well, kindly to workers just work standing to around. You're gonna need to look busy, or they'll sniff you out pretty quickly. And if they get too close, oh, you don't look like you it's belong here. You don't belong here. So I'm going to send you out to do a job that will keep you away from the guards. Outside of the mm, mill, there yeah. are a bunch of old steel ingots just lying around. Every so often, the foreman puts out a work order to collect them. It's practically a death sentence, and they never assign it to anyone. They make <sighs> us pick who's going to do it. Bastards. Mm, yeah, doesn't sound that dangerous. Yeah, well, the area is full of trogs. They're what most of us hope we never become. The contamination next, gets to everyone to some degree. Space. For most people, it's some form of cancer. Sometimes harmless, sometimes not. For others, contamination drives them insane. If it doesn't kill them, it changes them. They become animals, deformed and inhuman. It's not pretty. They're everywhere and they kill on sight. If you need a weapon, check with Marco in the mill. He's been making some of our tools mm -hmm. into weapons. You might even be able to find a gun on one of the dead oh. bosses <clears> out <throat> in the steel yard. Quick, they walk around. Oh, what was that? Split up. What's going on? Who is Do -do -do. This guy? Um, nothing. Uh, nothing. Uh, I'm not doing anything, just looking around. I'll take those. she needs to do. She knows. Ten ingots as fast as she can. Well then, I hope <laughs> you also said goodbye. <laughs> Alright, playtime's over. Hit the work grinders. She's judging him. <laughs> Alright, lady. Well, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. So we will now head over to the steel, or the meal, the meal, I can't talk, the mill. And then, yeah, we'll go from there, get some steel ingots, pick them all up really quickly so it's not a big pain in the ass. But, um, yeah, I guess we'll just end that here and we'll see you guys in the next video.